Have you ever wished you could literally just pick up your entire house and move to a completely new place? Turns out you can. In fact, Wolf House and Building Movers does this two to three hundred times a year. But how is this possible? Why would somebody want to do this? It takes a huge crew of people to make the incredible feat of moving a whole building possible. Thousands of tons, all lifted into the air, rolled onto a road and moved, sometimes a whole mile away. A whole mile? It doesn't sound like a lot, right? But imagine one mile for more than 1,500 tons. Better yet, the building remains entirely intact. Lifting and moving buildings may seem extreme to some people, but it's been done for hundreds of years. And with today's technology, it's no longer if a building can be moved. It's a question of how. So, how is it done? Take the historic Shea Odette's restaurant in New Hope, Pennsylvania, for example. It closed its doors in 2006, but was recently moved to a new location to serve, potentially, as home to a museum. There is a lot involved in moving a house. Uh, Wolf House Movers only takes care of lifting, moving, and setting the building down at the new site. Most people will hire a general contractor to take care of preparing the house for the move, clearing the mover out, and installing the foundation at the new site. We start by excavating all around the house and knocking holes in the foundation for installing our lifting steel. Once the lifting steel platform is in place, we install our unified hydraulic jacking system and lift the house up off of the existing foundation. Then the Buckingham power dolly system is put in place under the house and the house is driven to the new site. The restaurant weighed 387 tons. Imagine how much effort it took to lift the over 770 pound building. Not only that, it was moved a thousand feet up a state road over a bridge, all in just four hours. Sometimes, the team will have to work with a general contractor to prepare a moving round. They also coordinate with the local police, utility contractors, and tree trimmers to ensure that there is nothing in the way of the move. What's the purpose? Why would you want to move a building a mere 1,000 feet away? There are many reasons that people have come to us for moving their structures. The most notable reason would be historic preservation. We do a lot of work uh, making way for commercial and residential development. And on the East Coast, we move a lot of houses back away from busy roads. There's a lot of work in lifting flooded houses so that future floods can flow right through the foundation without causing any further damage to the living space. And the coolest part about all of this? Most homes are moved with almost all of its furniture still inside. There's no need to take anything out of the house for the move. With the Buckingham Power Dolly system, the house will move very slowly and steady and everything will ride just fine. If you do have anything tipsy or valuable, such as a grandfather clock or a glass vase on a shelf or something like that, you could take that down, wrap it up, lay it on the floor as a safety precaution, but that's rarely necessary. The company has been in the business for about 45 years Yet people are still shocked when they learn that this can be done. The part of the business that I enjoy the most is being able to provide a unique solution to a problem. Most people still don't have any idea that a building can be lifted and moved, and so I enjoy walking them through the process and showing them how we can help out with a problem that seems to have no solution. 